So for this example, we'll illustrate the iterative approach, which means we're going to just keep substituting the sequence into itself in order to find the formula for the nth term. So this one, it's really important to follow a couple important ideas here. So just remember that a something is equal to 4 plus a something minus 1, which means the next term is always 4 plus the previous. So here is where we start. a sub n is equal to 4 plus a sub n minus 1. Now what I'm going to do, I want to substitute something in here. So I know by the sequence definition, 4 plus now. What is a sub n minus 1? Using this, I know that this is 4 plus a n minus 2, because it's n minus 1 minus 1. Now I'm going to regroup a little bit, but I'm going to be very careful not to simplify too much, because remember the point of this is to find a pattern. So the, I'm going to write this as 4 times 2 plus a sub n minus 2. Well, that's going to be equal to 4 times 2 plus, now what is a sub n minus 2 according to the sequence? It's 4 plus a n minus 3. So as you can tell, we're going to pick up another 4 and add a sub n minus 3. So it seems as though whatever I'm subtracting here is whatever I'm multiplying here. So I'm going to fast forward to the nth term which is going to give me 4 times n plus a sub n minus n. Now, why am I doing that? I know what a0 is. So this is 4n plus a0, which is 4n. So there we have it. So there's no need to prove it by induction. We got this by iteration, but we can also prove this formula by induction. I encourage you to do so. It's actually quite straightforward to do that. But that is using the iterative approach. Thank you for watching.